Regulation 372, LCD File R11509, uh, Rob Bonamici. Information only. Uh, for the record, uh, Rob Bonamici, Chief Game Warden. Uh, this regulation, proposed regulation, stems for, from in our hunt book uh, when it comes to antelope seasons. We refer to antelope as horns longer than ears or horns shorter than ears. And then with regards to our mule deer, uh, antlerless and antlered. So what this regulation does is clarifies that. It may seem real simple. Well, that's a no-brainer, horns shorter than ears. Uh, but we get questions from the public, hunters out there, that, you know, some of them are panic calls. Oh my God, I got a horn shorter than ears tag, and it, it's, a, it's a male. So I'm in trouble. And no, no, you're not in trouble, and all that. So this just clarifies that, makes it real clear for everybody. And then, uh, it also, we address the punching of a tag. Old language would read clearly punching the tag. New language, immediately and clearly, just to make that real clear to, to people. And then uh, on page two at the bottom, uh, subsection two there, or section two, a person who kills any wildlife for which the sex or characteristics are not specified on the tag or permit issued to the person shall validate the tag or permit in according, accordance with subsection one. That addresses the issues like we've had before the commission before where individuals kill a cow elk on a bull tag or vice versa and then want to continue hunting and saying that well, I had a bull tag, I shot a cow, so I can continue hunting. And the commission has ruled that, no, you can't uh, in each of those cases in the past. So this just clarifies that uh, to the hunter that, you know, if you got a bull tag and you kill a cow, you still got to punch the tag <coughs> as, a, as an antlerless, as a cow. Uh, so that, that just makes things clear, it all hopefully alleviate uh, issues that come before the commission regarding that and, and in essence save time. Any uh, questions? Thank you, Rob. Any uh, commissioner, uh, commissioner who's in? Um, thank you. On that last one you're talking about, you know, there's got to be a little bit clearer language than that. I'm, I'm struggling. I read the first time, you know, and it's a person who kills any wildlife which sex characteristics are not specified on the tag. You know, some been there even it seemed there, there ought to be a further clarification and to me it's not it's not clear enough to get to the situation we had a couple meetings ago the, with the, the bull and the elk I haven't there's there's got to be but more clear language than this I don't know exactly what it would be but well, this would still not right. be quite we're, we're open to clear language but the reason <laughs> it's written that way uh, and if there's a better way, that'd be great. But the reason is for the individuals that have, like for example, we had an individual with an elk tag shot a buck antelope. Uh, they don't, you know, there's, you can't punch, you know, the tag for an antelope because it's not an antelope tag. And that's, that's the reason, reason it's written that way. If it's different, sex or characteristic horns shorter than ears horns longer than ears then you must punch it i was trying to think you know something along the line of at any time when a, an animal that is not on your tag is punched but the thing is any also run to you can have multiple tags well, what if you you know got guys got a this does not specify which tag you'd punch if you happen to have a for instance i'd have a mountain lion tag in my pocket and deer tag well it's not the right species I punched a tag. It's a stretch, but it's not clarified. Ungulate species, um, and maybe specify even the wrong ungulate. Even if the wrong ungulate species is 
shot under the um, auspices of another tag. This, just, this, this here doesn't seem to cover all we, of them. We could potentially put in another section that addresses that issue. Uh, if you do shoot a antelope on your elk tag, yeah, you're you're, you're done. Your, your antelope hunt is your your elk hunt's done. <laughs> your whatever your done. hunt is done, general. Yeah, you you you're done. <laughs> so so that's a possibility. We're you know we'd be open to that. Working up some language for that uh, for you to look at tomorrow. Uh, Commissioner McBeth. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm a little confused with the term characteristics, and it seems to be rather broad. Uh, and I'm wondering if it's going to. How do you? What do you feel about that word standing up? Uh, you know, if you know, in court with respect to, you know, whether it means species or not. The the characteristics that refers to the shorter than ears, longer than ears, uh, because sex refers to male, female. So that's why the word characteristics is in there. Okay, so I guess I'm confused then because then the way this reads, it says a person who kills any wildlife for which the sex or characteristics are not specified. Well, if it was the antelope situation on the elk tag, that's a completely separate species, and is that covered by this? I, I would say no. So should we add for which the species, sex, or characteristics? We could do that. Because I think that would be a lot clearer than, because okay. I was assuming that species was included in characteristics, but you just said that right. wasn't your understanding. No. So Commissioner Cavan? That, that seems to help, but I, if I hadn't been sitting in the room when we heard that issue a few months ago on the elk case, <clears throat> I, w I, c I couldn't put the pieces of the puzzle together just reading this. So Wait. it certainly wouldn't be clear to the general public what, what this means. Um, and I think what Mike is suggesting may help, um, but maybe we should have him. Can you restate that wording? Or um, Yeah, for the record, I, I basically inserted the word species um, and a comma after the word which. So it would be it'd read like this, a person who kills any wildlife for which the species, comma, sex, comma, or characteristics are not specified on the tag or permit issued to the person shall validate the tag or permit in accordance with subsection 1. <coughs> and I guess my question is, is, does that cover all the scenarios? Oh, I'm sure there'll be something else. Yeah, no, something weird will come up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll cover a lot of them. Commissioner Rain. Mm, thank you, Mr. Chairman. If I could just throw something else out. I'm, I'm another another option for um, thought. Now, at any time when any ungulate is harvested, even if it is of the wrong sex, species, or having the wrong characteristics, under the authority of a tag. Actually, actually I guess that should be in the wrong order. Any time when any ungulate is harvested under the authority of a tag, even if it has the wrong sex, species, or having the wrong characteristics. Then you go into, they shall validate the tag or permit as you have. The person shall, the last um, portion of the sentence. How would that be? At any time when any ungulate is harvested under the authority of a tag, even if it is of the wrong sex, species, or having the wrong characteristics, the person shall validate the tag or permit in accordance with subsection 1. Would that do it? Yeah, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking that would be more clear to me. I mean, the, the harvest of eat. Because <coughs> something is more clear, and that would eliminate the lion thing out of it. Because you could have a valid tag at that time. I could see somebody come with that argument. Commissioner Cavett. Well, so the, the next step, so that the individual punches the tag, they do, do they do they leave it there? 
and go find a game warden? Do they load it in their truck? If they load it in their truck, then their then their game warden's going to say, "Hey, you know, you tried to pass this off with this punch tag." This this is really confusing. Or we uh, we specify, if I may, in the regulations in our brochure what to do on mistaken kills. Okay, so if there was some language to accompany no, this, there is no law that requires that. You basically, if you shoot the wrong animal, that you must contact a game warden. There is not a law that requires that. So in here, we s highly recommend that's what people do: is contact a game warden. And those we look at those a lot different. Then we look at the situations where, oh, I got an elk tag, I just shot a cow, uh, nobody saw me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go shoot, a, shoot the time. right one this time. Any wild hey, Rob, what about the I guy like that, that does that? Well, I'm, I'm on his it, way to a game where he gets stopped to transport it. Lion. And, so hey, I was in, I was in to turn it in, and, you know. See any wildlife? Hey. Yeah, we've, I mean, we got to, those things are real world scenarios. Uh, we we got to take those case by case, and we've had that happen where, hey, I was looking for you, trying to track you down and all that, and we've determined, yeah, this, it's all legit. The guy made a mistake and, you know, explain what happened. We go back to the scene or what, whatever it takes to, you know, determine, hey, is he telling the truth or not telling the truth? And so we've determined several of them to be, yeah, they're being truthful. And we've determined some of them weren't being quite so truthful. Commissioner McBeth? Um, kind of picking up what uh, Commissioner Rain said, um, I think I'm troubled now with the word any wildlife. I mean, under, if I read this, you can shoot a coyote and have to punch a tag. There's no tag required for coyote. Okay, but, but it's a wild, it, it's any wildlife. I mean, I'm just, that's an mm -hmm. extreme example. All I'm saying is, is that, is that shouldn't we Big game animal. Yeah, I don't know. Is there another term other than any wildlife uh, that uh, could be used there that uh, might make it more precise? Well, in any, any wildlife for which a tag's required. Yeah, or something that, like that. Yeah. Because that's what it could be a, a swan tag yeah. that mm -hmm. they have. It, it could be, you know, the deer tag, the turkey tag. Uh, so there's, it's not just big game. Okay. And if they're swan hunting, then they kill a dog <laughs> or a goose. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to tag it. <laughs> <laughs> Any other so what, uh, comments? Uh, did, did you have some ideas for to bring back on the second reading? Yeah, we can do that. Um, Commissioner uh, Rain? No. I'm just try, trying to read something. So, I mean, if I would like to see tomorrow, perhaps, is a, a few options. Okay. And one of them being, I'm trying to get this, the coordination of the wording here. If a person, a person who kills any wildlife for which a tag is required under the author, um, for which a tag is required, eat shall validate the tag or permit in accordance with subsection 1 even if it is of the wrong sex species or having the wrong or has the wrong characteristics how's that for more clarity what does our attorney say <laughs> well i think I, I think we've given you some what our concerns are and so I imagine that you know given some time that you can probably come <coughs> up with something that uh, would be a little clearer uh, um. he's got a couple hours yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well we'll work on it if I could get I'll write that word yeah on a separate sheet because any uh, public it. comment on this uh, regulation if not any other questions of Rob by the Commission if not yeah. Bring some changes back tomorrow. Okay. Second hearing. Second read. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> <laughs>